Welcome to the No Guilt Fangirls Podcast, where liking what you like is never a bad thing. Here's your host and head fangirl in charge, Patty Holiday. Hey y'all, welcome to the No Guilt Fangirls Podcast. I'm your host and head fangirl in charge, Patty Holiday. Today is my guest. I have a perfect wino <laughs> or owner of the perfect spatula also known as Megan Sullivan. And if you're going like, what is she talking about? Don't worry, we're going to explain all of that. Um, what we're talking about is Ren Disney's Wine and Dine Half Marathon Weekend. And Megan is somebody who has run every single race from the inception of this race, and that makes her a perfect runner. Hey, Megan. Hey, Patty. How are you doing? I am wonderful. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. But I just feel like I haven't seen you in a really long time. So I'm excited that we get to spend a little time together chit-chatting about Run Disney. (laughs) Me too. And we don't have to run to do it. And we don't have to run to do it. I know. Bonus. (laughs) (laughs) It's really funny because I think this is your Run Disney race weekend that you never miss. And it's actually the Run Disney weekend that I almost always miss. (laughs) I know. (laughs) <laughs> it's it's just not my favorite, but I know I know obviously there's something there that you like about it. So I want to talk about that, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. But first, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, about your fandoms, and where people can find you on social media. Well, I'm a Leo. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> um, I live about an hour from Disney. I'm an engineer by trade. I'm a huge lover of Star Wars and Marvel. And I love all the Disney parks. My favorite is Epcot, which probably plays into my love for wine and dine. Makes sense. Makes sense. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, If you want to reach me on social, you can find me on Instagram. My name is Megan Nightmare. So like Megan, M-E-G-A-N, Nightmare, but with one N. Got it. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, first question. First question. Explain to everybody what a perfect spatula is. (laughs) (laughs) So the uh, perfect slash legacy runner thing is what Run Disney does for the runners who've run every single half marathon weekend for Wine and Dine. So they usually do a little celebration at the milestone years. Like my, uh, like year five, 10, 15, et cetera. So this year's the 10th year, but for year five, we were given a wonderful gift of a plastic spatula. <laughs> and this looked like it came from the dollar store, um, but. <laughs> Run Disney put a little logo on it and, you know, five years running. And so it just kind of became the running joke amongst the perfect winos, as we call ourselves, to celebrate the, you know, thousands of dollars we spent and the (laughs) appreciation we were shown for year five. So (laughs) I remember year 10. um, We're hoping, you know, for a whisk or maybe. Pan, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what they pull out this year. I remember laughing so hard because there was a whole big, like everybody was buzzing online. You know, I wonder what you yeah. guys are going to get. I hope it's something cool. Um, yeah, like the princesses had celebrated year five either earlier that year or the year before, and they gave them crowns and feather boas, and you know the stars shine down from the sky on them <laughs> and then here's us and here's your spatula so <laughs> and <you know. laughs> but but you but I, what I love about you is that you've kind of leaned into it you take that spatula yeah. with you on every 13.1 miles and you every run race. with it on every race and so there's all these pictures of Megan with the spatula in hand as <laughs> she's running yep. her half marathon it's awesome <laughs> yep. you can find them on the hashtag Tag perfect spatula. I love it. I love it. All right. No, what, what's your what's your history as a runner? Like, how did you start? Why did you start? Why do you do this? Uh, so my dad's been a runner for decades, and he's actually run a few Disney races himself. I remember um, meeting him at the finish line of one of the Disney marathons back in like the late nineties, early two thousands, and he always wanted me to run a race with him. So he signed us up for the Gasparilla 15K in Tampa mm-hmm. in 2000, 2009, I think. And I had a lot of fun running with him. And then 
you know, not if maybe a few months later, Disney announces this wine and food and wine and dine and food and wine themed race. And I'm like, oh my God, dad, we have to do this. So I just kind of fell into it. My, you know, my uh, favorite things on earth are food, wine, and uh, my family. So <laughs> it was like, let's do this. So it was actually my first half marathon. Oh, I love and, it. I love it. Yeah. So just kind of stuck with it. All right. Well, that that it kind of answers my next question is why wine and dine? What about what about this weekend yeah. keeps you coming back? Like dad's not always running with you, but why do you keep no. coming back for wine and dine? What is it about Run Disney maybe in general or the experience of this particular weekend that you love? Uh, yeah, I really, I really just love the whole food and wine festival itself, regardless of the race weekend. And once I did it, two, three years in a row, I was like, huh, maybe I should just keep going to five and see if we get anything special. <laughs> and and now here I am, year 10. And I, I don't know, I just can't quit it. It's, it's addictive, I guess. But, <laughs> you know, I also I just I really like run Disney. They always take really good care of their runners. The courses are great. There's always plenty of drink and nutrients on the course the, you can't beat the sites. I mean, especially wine and dine getting to run through three parks, which is more than some of the other half marathons they do. Um, just the whole atmosphere, the excitement, it's just, it's Disney. What, I mean, what's not to love? There's characters on course. Girl, and, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, you the park and see stuff you hadn't seen before. Maybe. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's Disney. Yep. Yep. I, I believe it. I, I mean, I, I totally am the same way. And that's kind of how I started with Run Disney too, was I don't love running. I'm not a big runner at all. I don't even like running guys. I really don't. However, I love Disney and it was enough to like get me out there and doing this stuff all the time. It's kind yeah, of insane. It's good it is good you. for you. It is good for you. And, and honestly, I keep doing it for the mental aspect. Like the running helps me more mentally actually than physically. So it all, everybody yeah. is happier when I'm running. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> now, Wine and Dine has had some um, extra special <laughs> situations. Um, first of all, yeah, why does it keep right. Happening? Why does it keep happening? Well, first of all, back in the day, old wine and dine runners will remember that the race actually was a night race. And so that made it also special was it was a little bit different. We didn't have to wake up at three o'clock in the morning to run this race. You were able to start running at 10 o'clock at night, which I personally abhorred and hated that. I, I can't <laughs> imagine like starting to run a half marathon at 10 o'clock at night, but People love it. People love it. Not me, but other people do. And two of those night races had some really bad experiences. There's the famous splash and dash and then the half of a half race. And both of these were weather related. So since I know you were there, tell me a little bit like what you thought about both of those experiences. <laughs> well, the half of a half, honestly, uh, it really came at a good time for me because my uh, family and I had just went to the Bahamas for two weeks. So it was like right after we got back and I hadn't really been training. My dad and I were like, why did we do this? And <laughs> so, you know, the storm starts coming in and they throw us in wide world of sports for shelter. And we're like, it wouldn't be so bad if this got postponed or canceled or shortened. And, you know, sure enough, it got shortened and all was well with the world. <laughs> we survived. Um, I'm sure it was disappointing for people who had come from out of town, out of state, who'd planned a big weekend around it. But, you know, at least we got to do a little bit of running. We still got to run through part of the parks and, it, you know, you can't do anything about the weather. So it is what it is. We made the best of it. We still got to go to the after party because it was at night still. So we got to enjoy a couple drinks afterwards. And really the after party is the most fun part anyway. So <laughs> exactly. Uh, that was that was actually one of the yeah. years that I was supposed to run and uh, uh -huh. I didn't. And I remember really being sad that I didn't because a half of a half is perfect for me. <laughs> it is a really good distance. It was like six and a half to seven miles. I mean, you, you know, 
could barely break a sweat at that point. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> and and like you said, the important part is you still got to party, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. do you remember? I, I don't think you you don't usually stop for characters on the course, but do you remember anybody that you saw on the course this past year that maybe people who are getting ready to run this year could keep an eye out for? Oh yeah, I actually did stop for characters last year because I was a bit under trained. So I was like, you know what? Let's just stop and enjoy some character stops. <laughs> Um, I saw Mary Poppins, Penguins, Pinocchio, um, Chip and Dale in their dinosaur costumes in uh, Animal Kingdom. I think Elvis Stitch was out. I love Elvis Stitch. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, I, there might have been one or two more. I, I didn't stop for all of them, but those are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. Just characters you don't always see out, which I think is another great thing about Run Disney Races is – you know, I never see most of those guys running around. So where else are you going to get their photo? Right. Besides, Besides on the course. course. Yeah, so. exactly. I, I actually stopped for Elvis Stitch for the first time. Uh, oof, oh, I think it was Princess 10K. And I was super excited mm-hmm. because I hadn't, I don't think I've ever seen him except for on a race yeah. course. And, you know, and yeah. I, and so, and he's so cute. So yeah, I, I definitely, I, I think that's one of the big draws to any Ren Disney race is you get a little totally. bit of different, different experience than a typical race. I mean, even if you think about it, like with marathon, what other marathon do you know of that you can ride a roller coaster in the middle of your race, right? Yeah, <laughs> it awesome. is, it is. Uh, what's your favorite part of the recent courses? Have you looked at the changes to the course this year? Are you looking forward to anything specifically? I know we're not doing uh, Galaxy's Edge, which people were kind of hoping would happen, yeah. but it's not. So yeah. outside of that, what else, what other cool aspect of the courses do you like? So I'm not a big um, course studier, if you will. I usually have to ask my friend Jane, who you know very well. <laughs> yeah, we know uh, Jane. <laughs> who I always stay with, <laughs> uh, where I need to park and where I will be <laughs> picked up. So really, that's, um, that's how that goes. But I I'm sure we're running through three parts still because that's kind of a wine and dine draw. So I really do love that about wine and dine. Even if you don't spend all that much time in Hollywood studios, uh, you still get to run through it. It's always fun to run down Hollywood Boulevard by Tower of Terror and just takes your mind off of things for a little while and you get cute pictures on the street too. So I don't know where the course goes (laughs) this year. That's okay. That's (laughs) okay. Don't just that Animal Kingdom in Hollywood. So those will be fair enough. And I think uh, I do think that this one starts uh, in Magic Kingdom or the parking lot, the Magic Kingdom parking lot, and then you guys run and finish back at Epcot again. So okay, yeah, yeah. So I know right. it's it's one of those uh, courses. It's not like a marathon or a princess where we start and end in Epcot, you know, and you make your way yeah. back to it. I feel like that it ends at Epcot because I last year I ran in not ran, walked in after the race and got my annual pass holder cutting board <laughs> because of the visit. So I might be doing that again this year, depending on what visit number Yeah, you got to get your but- coasters. I picked mine up on, on the last trip. And that's what, that's what we yeah. specifically did was I think one of the days we weren't planning on staying in Epcot. So we walked in, booped in, booped out, and then it added up and we picked up yep. our cute little coasters and they're adorable. So you definitely want to go get yours. Yeah, I want to go get a coaster. Yeah, yeah, too. definitely. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> do you have any tips uh, that you'd give to a new runner or new to wine and dine weekend? Like what? Um, specific to one and dine, is there anything that's with this race weekend uh, versus another Run Disney race that you could give them, or or even even if it's not different than any other Run Disney race, just what are your top tips for Run Disney folks who've never done this before and just maybe don't know what to expect? I would say, um, as as far as Run Disney in general, you know, make sure you get enough sleep. I know it's really hard to get sleep at Disney, but you feel so much better if you can get a little bit of sleep. Don't go out to the parks all day on your feet, exhausted, and then expect to have an easy time waking up at two or three in the morning the next day. Um, But you know, you're also at Disney. So if that's what you want to do, you'll survive. (laughs) (laughs) Just 
just know that you might not feel as great as you want to. Um, I would say specifically for wine and dine, maybe the day before the race, don't go out and eat a bunch of weird stuff and drink a bunch of alcohol the day before the race because you never know how that's going to sit on your stomach. And I know with all these food and wine booths open, it's very tempting, but that's what the after party celebration is for. And you can try as many things as you want there. So I would say maybe just hold off on that, you know, weird bowl of ramen from China just until after the <laughs> that's race. That's not a bad idea. That's that's a really <laughs> solid tip. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. there, are, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> one of the highlights of going to this particular race weekend for people is they love the food and wine festival. Yeah. And they do want to try all of those fun things. Yeah. But uh, yeah, good point. Good point. The perfect wino is telling you guys, hold off on that until after <laughs> your half marathon or you, there could be some regrets. There just could be. So yeah. that's important to keep in mind. What, what do you love the most? about the after party like what is what is your what what do you do at the after parties i know some people are there to get in line and to ride rides without lines like to be able to just walk on stuff Mm -hmm. other people are there for just the general debauchery and fun celebrating and then other people are like looking for characters what are you looking for um well i'm always in for debauchery (laughs) so um as uh, you know as an annual pass holder the rides aren't as important to me because I can do those whenever my, my main focus at the after party is finally just getting to relax. Like I don't have another early wake up coming because I usually do the challenge. So that's two early wake ups in a row. So I can finally relax, sit back with a couple beers, eat whatever I want and not worry about the next morning. That's my favorite part is just not having to worry about yeah, running. Yeah, no, the next for day. sure, for sure. And it's a nice little celebration that they do. So if, if anyone's not clear on what this is all about, I think a, another one of the reasons that Wine and Dine is such a popular race is because with, I mean, it doesn't cost you any extra, but Run Disney puts on a basically a runners only or runners only and their guests. You, you can purchase tickets uh, for your friends or family members that didn't run the half marathon. But if you're running the half marathon, it's included with your bib purchase to have this after hours experience. And I think this year you can get in at like four o'clock in the afternoon, but the the official party yeah. part doesn't start until like 10 o'clock at night. But from, you know, starting at four o'clock, you don't have to have a ticket to get into uh, outside of your party ticket that comes, you know, with your race bib, but you can go in and you can enjoy Epcot all evening long and celebrate and have this great time. And it's cool because after 10 o'clock, everybody, all the regular Epcot guests will be gone. It will just be your fellow runners and lots of people wear their medals and everybody likes to take pictures and uh, all kinds of awesome, fun stuff goes on at the after party. And again, this is like that secret little perk that I, I mean, I know obviously Run Disney knows that knows about it. They know they're spending money on us in this way, but um, don't tell them <laughs> how much we like it because it might go away and we would hate that. <laughs> yeah, don't put that out to the universe. Yeah, I'll just have to scrub this off of the, the podcast. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, they don't do that after Princess. They don't do that after Marathon Weekend. They don't do any special experience like this, but they do do it for Wine and Dine. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why people love it so much, you know? Yeah. Last question here. Well, no, not last question. Second to the last question. Do you think <laughs> the night races should come back? Whew. Well... I do think that my opinion does not I, matter. I'm with you. Don't. I agree completely. Yes. <laughs> but let's pretend that you had a say in things. <laughs> let's pretend. Um, I, you know, I would love to see them come back. I think it would be another thing that makes Wine and Dine different from the other Disney races because Disney's got this formula now where every race weekend is a 5K, 10K half, and then obviously Marathon Weekend has the full – But it was the one thing that separated Wine and Dine, truly separated Wine and Dine from the rest of the pack. And I thought it was a great idea. I actually loved having the after party right after the race, even if you were all gross and sweaty and disgusting. You know what? So is everyone else. So 
I thought it was more fun personally because you got to go do your celebration right then and there. And then you just went back home and got to sleep in the next day and do whatever you want. Now, now that the race is in the morning, you kind of have to go back and take a nap, regroup, figure out what you're doing, and then go back to the park later in the day. Yeah, it's nice. You get to shower and clean up and oh, get off your feet for a little while. But <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. You know, I I loved I I loved going straight from the race to the after party. Uh, what I loved about the first few years of the race, especially, was you would finish that race and they would basically be throwing a beer or a glass of wine right into your hand. You didn't even have to go in the park or go to an after party or anything. You, They just gave you a drink. And I thought that was super fun and a really cool way to end the race. And then after that, you know, you can run into the changing rooms or the restrooms and swap out your sweaty clothes or not because you don't need to because yep. everyone else <laughs> is gross. And then you have to go into the after party. And originally they used to give you uh, tickets that you would get one drink item or one food item or two of each and you they would handle it that way. And now they do the gift card thing, which is still great. You know, you can use it anywhere on Disney property. So that's totally fine. It's probably more valuable than a drink or food ticket anyway. Um, but I, I do miss those little nuances of the original – early races that had a little bit of flair to them. And, you know, I obviously still love the race. I'm still doing it, but it is very similar to other race weekends in the whole format of it now in the early morning wake up. So I would love to see the night races come back. I am not holding my (laughs) breath by any means, but, you know, I'm glad that I got to do them and I got to do all of them. And, you know, it's, even the wet it and rainy and shortened ones. <laughs> you know, I got my favorite race photo, that splash and dash race, because there were no lines with the characters. Right? So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, so here's, here's your so. last question. Uh, how many more years are you planning on maintaining the perfect status? You know, I, I don't foresee me stopping. Like, I've already made it to 10. Right. Why stop now? I really, think, I really think if this, if the race keeps going and I decide to skip one year and it's still going the next year, I'm, I would really regret it because it's a lot of time and effort and money that I've put in thus far. So I feel you. I feel you. No, I think it's. I, I mean, it's a very, it's a strange thing to call it an accomplishment, but it is. It's a true commitment to go back year after year to do. You know, I mean, thirteen point one yeah. miles is an accomplishment. I don't care how many times you do it, and so that's yeah. that's a that's a big deal. And and I'm kind of excited to see what you get this year. <laughs> I hope it. I hope it's a whisk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there aren't, there aren't that many of us left, so I, I might as well stick with it because, like, I'm also perfect for Star Wars, but so are hundreds and hundreds of other people because yeah, yeah, running yeah. had that big boom and everybody was into it. So I kind of did it before the boom happened. So I think there's probably less than 150 perfect runners left at this point. You so are small but mighty. Small All group. right, well. Yeah. Well, good luck in in, in your race you. this weekend. Have a fun yeah. weekend. Give Jane a hug for me. Well, no, I don't think Jane hugs. Tell Jane I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will talk to you guys again later. Uh, everybody, if you want to know more about Run Disney, I've got a whole series of basically Run Disney 101, uh, Run Disney FAQ type questions and answers and uh, coming out for you. So Make sure that you tune in and you to listen to those. Share with your running community if you're heading off for your first race and you have hashtag all the questions because I'm going to try to hashtag give you all the answers. And uh, thanks, Megan. Thanks for coming by and come back and fangirl with us again someday real soon. Uh, absolutely. Thanks for having me.